Already a winner, AR. Those who go up against adversity and triumph right in its face. Ex-Marine Nick Prindell lost both of his hands in Iraq. He bounced back to become a mixed martial arts fighter, but his battles haven't ended yet. Mark Howell takes us inside the bench. In Nick Prindell's eyes, he is an ultimate fighter. He trains, spars, and perfects his craft. But because of his disability, the UFC has barred him from participation. Basically, they told me I wasn't a real fighter because of my hands. Despite a promising amateur record, Prindell cannot make the jump to the pros because of his lightweight prosthetic tungsten alloy hands, which the UFC says give him an unfair advantage. I guess a lot of people are afraid of competing with a, a handicapped person, but I'm just another fighter. I didn't choose to have metal hands. Looking for something to help his rehabilitation, Nick tried mixed martial arts and found it gave him a renewed sense of purpose in life. His ascent began in a Florida league with the quickest knockout time and the most doctor stoppage TKOs on record. And we are underway. Almont is getting quick. Oh, God! Almont goes down hard. Nick's last three opponents refused to fight him, proof that disabled athletes have a long way to go to gain acceptance. People think that if they compete with the cripple, people will laugh at them, but that's no reason to discriminate. I, mean, I may not have hands, but I've got heart. Nick's got more fights ahead, and he's putting his metal hands to work, preparing an appeal to the UFC board. I know they're going to reinstate me, and I'm, I'm going to be a champion because I got, I got a secret weapon. Optimism. From inside the bench, I'm Mark Howell.